Welcome to Pharmacam Insights. In this video, you will get to learn question and answers on thermogravimetric analysis that is TGA that will help you in your interview preparation. So let's get started. First question, what is the principle of thermogravimetric analysis TGA? TGA is a thermoanalytic technique used to measure the changes in mass of a sample has a function of temperature or time under control atmospheres. Next question. What are the key components of a TGA instrument? A TGA instrument typically consists of balance to measure mass, furnace to control temperature, sample holder, gas flow system, temperature controller, and a data acquisition system. How does TGA work? So answer is the instrument heats the sample at a control rate while continuously measuring its mass. The changes in mass are recorded as a function of temperature or time. Next question. What type of information can TGA provide about a sample? So answer is TGA can provide information about decomposition temperature, thermal stability, moisture content, composition, and reaction kinetics of a sample. What are the common applications of TGA? TGA is commonly used in material science, polymer analysis, pharmaceuticals, food analysis, environmental studies, and catalyst characterization. Next question, what are the main applications of TGA? So, main applications include studying thermal stability or decomposition, oxidation, stability, phase transition, purity determination of materials. What type of atmospheres used in TGA? Common atmospheres used in TGA include air, nitrogen, argon, oxygen, and vacuum, depending on the requirements of the analysis. What are the main types of TGA curves? The main types of TGA curves include first, stepwise discrete temperature changes, second, continuous, a gradual temperature ramp. Third is isothermal, maintaining a constant temperature. How is the decomposition temperature determined from a TGA curve? The decomposition temperature is typically determined as the temperature at which the mass loss rate is maximum on the TGA curve. Next question. What is the difference between TGA and DSC that is differential scanning calorimetry. So answer is TGA measures weight change of the sample. DSC measures heat flow. TGA is sensitive to mass changes. DSC is sensitive to heat changes. What is the difference between isothermal and dynamic thermogravimetric analysis? Isothermal gravimetric analysis maintains a constant temperature while dynamic analysis involves heating the sample at a controlled rate. This is the difference between the two. Next question. What is the significance of baseline correction in thermogravimetric analysis? Baseline correction helps to account for any changes in weight unrelated to the sample's properties such as buoyancy effects or instrument drift, ensuring accurate interpretation of the results. Can TGA be used to determine the purity of a substance? So answer is yes. TGA can be used to determine the purity of a substance. This can be done by analyzing the decomposition temperature and comparing it to the known decomposition temperatures of pure substances. Next question. 
can tj be used to study the thermal stability of polymers answer is yes tj is commonly used to study the thermal stability of polymers this can be done by analyzing their decomposition temperatures degradation products and degradation kinetics next question can tga be used to determine the moisture content of a sample so answer is yes tj can be used to determine the moisture content of a sample this can be done by analyzing the weight loss occurring at lower temperatures due to moisture evaporation what are the limitations of tga so limitations of tga include TGA curves are not fingerprint curve. Different parameters give different result. Need for sample preparation in TGA. Potential interference from volatile components in sample. Inability to directly identify reaction products. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. Bye.